Most Christians know that we, the church, are the bride of Christ. But do you realize that we're not married to him yet? We're betrothed to him. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. For I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. Christ didn't date us. He didn't even court us. He betrothed the church to himself. Betrothal is a covenant or promise to marry. And I will betroth thee unto me forever. Yea, I will betroth thee unto me in righteousness and in judgment and in loving kindness and in mercies. I will even betroth thee unto me in faithfulness, and thou shalt know the Lord. Though we are the bride of Christ, the wedding hasn't happened yet. Betrothal is binding and requires a divorce to annul it, like in the story of Mary and Joseph. Joseph is called Mary's husband even before they're married. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Spirit. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away or divorce her privately. Now is our time of waiting for the return of Christ, our husband, and the preparation for the wedding. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife hath made herself ready. And to her it was granted to be arrayed in fine linen, clean and bright, for the fine linen is the righteous acts of the saints. Next, Christ will return for us, his bride, and we will have the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, Write, Blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. Our betrothal to Christ is sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit, in whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession unto the praise of His glory. For you have been bought with a price, therefore glorify God in your body. Trodel is one of the pictures in Scripture that God uses to help us better understand His love. Christ loved the church and gave Himself for her that he might sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of water by the word, that he might present her to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that she should be holy and without blemish. A bride eagerly awaits her wedding day and marriage. She longs to be with the one she loves for the rest of their lives. We wait with joy and anticipation for Christ to take us to be with him always. A bride will spend untold hours preparing. During our lives on this earth, we will spend our time preparing for our eternal union with Christ. We should grow to know and love God more and more. Our times of prayer and of listening to his voice should be precious as we grow closer and closer together. Christ's union and marriage to the church is what all of our temporary earthly marriages all point to. So if you're still waiting for an earthly spouse, seek your heavenly bridegroom. Grow in your love for him. Learn who he is. Discover what he's like. Find the joy that is found in his presence. Spend time in prayer and in praise and worship to him. Learn to hear his voice and follow his leading in all things. Love God and others. Share the gospel and make disciples. Care for orphans and widows, the fatherless and the poor. Be sanctified by the working of God in your life and be led by the Spirit. Trust God to provide a spouse for you in His timing. Trust God to show you who to marry, if you're supposed to marry, and when to marry that person. And if you do get married, don't stop seeking Him. For as a young man marrieth a virgin, so shall thy sons marry thee. And as the bridegroom rejoiceth over the bride, so shall thy God rejoice over thee. If this is what Christ did, then I as His follower want to imitate Him. If you want to learn more about betrothal and trusting the Lord in all things, then come visit us at biblicalromance.com.